Hello. Good evening. How are you, my friend? Good, e good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? How is fine? I'm glad to hear. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. Sometimes I feel that this thing detains me, but no, you can hear me. Okay, am I? I can hear you. Yes, very good. You can hear me. Or you can. Uh, oh, if. Uh, you can so hear so. me. So so. Sí. So so. Uh, right now, yes. But este, in this moment, it's uh, out the sound. Uh, the sound is not, not clear. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Now, yes. Now, yes. <laughs> okay. If, if, you, if you close your, the microphone, mm -hmm. uh, listen better. If I put it near my mouth, then you can hear. Yes. Okay. yes. Excellent. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I have two programs, so let me close one. Okay. Now, yes, it's much better. Good evening, everyone. Today is August 12th, and this is the pre intermediate. <clears throat> Okay, tonight we're going to continue studying the present continuous, right? We're going to continue studying the present continuous. Can you hear me? I, I found a little, I find this a little strange, but yes, right? Yes, okay. Let's see in the agenda tonight, we have a present continuous. I come from a big family. Uh, families are changing in quantifiers. Um, I was asked to finish most of the topics or all of the topics today, because it seems like the next thing is the final exam, right? The final exam is uh, on Monday. So that on, let me see, on Tuesday, I have to give you some feedback, okay? So let's begin. Uh, the objectives are to describe uh, our families. Okay. So what do you remember we studied yesterday? What did we study yesterday? Do you remember? The present continues. Uh -huh. um, a current event, current. temporary, in change. And three form to applica application, the present continues in the activities. activities. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you, Olguita, thank you very much. So, uh, three meanings of present progressive. Okay, yes. Temporary situations. Uh, current events, and of course, uh, the last one, right? So it's like, what was the last one? Current events. Uh, mm -hmm. What were the others? The other two? Good evening, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, are the temporary situation and temporary change. Situation. And uh, talk about change. Mm -hmm, exactly. The other one uh, is repetition, right? So repetition in the moment. So you say, he hit me one time. He's hitting me. Pom, 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 right? He's hitting me because it's many times. One, five, three, three many times. Okay. Or you say, he bounced the ball. Bounced the ball one time. But you say, 
he's bouncing the ball several times. Okay, so it's repetition. That's another repetition in the moment. Okay, let's see. Thank you very much. You remember. Now, tonight, to begin, we're going to discuss where would you rather or where do you prefer to live? Where do you prefer to live? Do you prefer to live uh, in the city or in the countryside? Yesterday, we were talking about if you prefer a uh, house or an apartment. Tonight, the city versus the countryside. Opinions? Where would where would you like to live? Where do you prefer? Well, teacher, I prefer living in a city. Can you tell me why, my friend? Okay. I prefer living in a town. In a small town. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why the small town? Chalatenango is a department. Oh. I prefer living. I prefer living uh, in a town. Yeah, Chalatenango is La Reina, El Pepeto, La Palma. Yes. Tejutla. Ah, Tejutla. Okay, Tejutla. Yes. Why not? It's nice. Okay, very good. So, why? Okay. What are the reasons? What are the reasons uh, that you have for preferring a small town? I'm preferring living in a city because uh, schools, universities, markets are very near. Excellent, yes. But um, sometimes I think the life is very expensive in the cities. It's true. There are many services that uh, sometimes are not really necessary, like cable TV, especially now that Netflix exists. Cable TV is not really necessary, right? But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Streaming is the new the new way to be to 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 watch TV. Uh -huh, exactly, and to listen to music. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Streaming is the new way. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you for sharing. What about reasons for living in a small town? Okay. Why? Why do you prefer living in a small town? You say, teacher, the vegetation, there are a lot of trees, in, very quiet. In my case, mm -hmm. in my case, teacher, I prefer for the river, for the forest, mm -hmm. for the, how do you say, clima? Climate, the climate. For mm -hmm. the climate. Because of the climate? I prefer the, the climate. Because of uh, the, the life, the life in the in the tow is is beautiful. Yeah, it's true. Life in the in the city is very fast. Yeah. And uh, stressful, right? Or stressing. But uh, in a small town, life is quiet, slow paced. It's nice. Nice living in a small town. Okay. Mm -hmm. Too bad the hospital is very far. Too bad uh, maybe the other services are not available. Teacher, what is available? Available? Mm -hmm. If these things will allow me, ah, tomorrow. There was an update yesterday, and after the update, the computer has been not erratic, but very slow. <laughs> so, available. 
available, available, disponible, right? Available, available. So services are available in the city, but unfortunately they are not available in small towns. So uh, if you want to work from a small town, uh, let's say work online from a small town is more difficult, right? It's more difficult only because of that, okay? Now, so advantages of the city. What are the advantages of living in the city? Everything is near, right? What else? Many services are available. Available, many services are available. Mm -hmm. What else? In my case, I prefer living in a city because I need my job. Ah, exactly, you are near your job. That's a very good reason too. Mm -hmm. The advantages of living in the small town is uh, the weather, right? It's very nice. Uh, less contamination. Aha, uh -huh, contamination. There is less contamination. There is very little contamination in the in the countryside. Also, the nights are dark. And what happens when the nights are dark? You sleep like a baby, right? But in the city, the, the nights are not dark because there are lights that are on. And so the nights, okay, are semi-dark, not completely dark. So for that reason is you sleep better in the countryside. Also the quality of life in the countryside is better. Food is fresher and more natural, right? And the people are more friendly or friendlier and they are nicer too. In the city, you bump into people, you say, good morning, and uh, they simply ignore you, right? Good morning, neighbor. <laughs> ah, in dog, that is good morning. Okay, so that is that is what happens in the city. Okay, and also there is more crime in the city than in the countryside. Okay, so yes, I prefer the small towns too. Okay, let's continue with your notes. Exercise one, present continuous. The purpose is to express current events or to describe current events. Okay, here we have some examples. In affirmative, in negative, and in questions. I would like a volunteer to read the affirmative ones. One volunteer. Okay, thank you. Uh, Huawei 5, it says, but I know that it's Karen. So Karen, please read. Yes, the film. Uh, soy Karen, teacher. Lo que sucede es que no tengo computadora ahorita y me he conectado al teléfono. Yes, no problem, my friend. Welcome on board, okay? Go ahead, please read the film. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You may begin. Okay, uh, I understand read the, the first paragraph. Yes, I don't know. This one, uh -huh. this one. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm uh, asking you, we are a study the lesson. Uh, you are investigating that. Karen, they are reading a book. This one? Can you see the point? Yes. This one? Oh, number two, number one, yes. Okay, that you're reading all the three, no, only this one. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, huh? I am, I'm asking you. Uh, we are starting the lesson. You are investigating that 
Uh, they are reading a book. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Now, Olguita the second and Miledis the third. I'm not asking you. We aren't studying the lesson. You aren't investiga investiga uh, investigating that. Mm -hmm. They aren't reading a book. Yeah. What is the uh, investigating? Investigating. It's right. It's based. In it's investigating. Investigating. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Investigating. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Now, the questions, Miledis. Okay. Am I doing this right? Are we studying? Are you reading? Are they playing? Thank you very much. Now, eh, Veronica, and then Jamilev. Veronica, this one. He, uh, he is waiting for you. She is listening to you. It's raining now. Everybody is working now. Nobody is looking. Nobody is looking. Nobody is looking. <laughs> okay. Nobody is looking. Everybody, everybody is working now. Nobody is looking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Jamila. He isn't waiting for you. She isn't listening to you. It isn't raining now. Mark isn't working now. Maria isn't looking now. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, the last one. Who wants to read the last one? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Glorita, the last one. And then we have other volunteers. Yes, Glorita, you may proceed. Okay. Is he waiting for you? Is she listening to you? It is raining now. Mar isn't working now. Is Maria looking now? Okay, very good. Is it raining now? Is it raining now? Mark? Uh -huh. This is like, is Mark working now? And I put it, Mark isn't working now, right? Okay, what happens with the questions when there are statement questions? She isn't here, right? That's another way of asking, but okay, Mark isn't working now? Mark isn't working now? I thought he was working. So what you're saying is like, um, I had the idea, I had the concept that Mark was working, but they tell you, ah, oh, but Mark isn't working now. And you repeat, right? Mark isn't working now? You are surprised. Mark isn't working now? Okay, so. But in, the, in that one, so what dif, what's different is the, the way you ask it. Mark isn't working now. Is Maria looking now? For you say for the question. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to get to the activity. We have the two examples here, A and B. Okay, the example is uh, Roberto Betancourt and Jamilet will read the first one. Okay, Roberto is A and Jamilet is B. Okay, is B traveling in Europe? No, he isn't. What he doing? He's working on a new project. Okay, thank you very much. Now I have two other volunteers for uh, the second. We have Karen. And I don't know who the other one was. Who was the other volunteer? Jemmy. Okay. So Jemmy and Karen. Okay. Karen is A. Jemmy is, is B. Okay. Is Roxana cooking on lunch? No, she isn't. 
What's she doing? She white watching TV. Okay, she's watching TV. Excellent. She's watching TV. Perfect. Okay, look at the at the exercise. Um we have Luis. Okay. This is the example, the first and the second. Is Luis traveling in Europe? No, he isn't. Oh, what's he doing? He's working on a new project. Okay, he's working on a new project. Is Roxana cooking lunch? No, she isn't. What's she doing? She's watching TV. Okay, the, the model. Now we have from three down to the others. Okay, I need uh, two volunteers. Lorita. Okay, and uh, who's the other volunteer? Don Roberto Betancourt. Okay, so for three. Number three. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Is Jaime dancing at, 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 the, at the disco? No, he isn't. Was, what he doing? He's shopping with Sue. Excellent, he's shopping with Sue. Very good, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers for number four. Okay. Uh, Marlene and Karen. Okay, Marlene is A. Okay. Karen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number four. Number four. Okay. Is, is Sylvia swimming in the Paul? No, she isn't. What she what she doing? She is jogging in the park. Excellent. She's jogging in the park. Okay. Very good. That's nice. Now for number five, we have uh, Jamilet and Olgit. Okay, for number five. Okay. Is Salvador working in his office? No, he isn't. What's he doing? He's taking a nap on the sofa. Exactly, excellent, very good. Thank you very much, good job. Now for the next ones, Veronica and Jennifer, okay? Veronica is A, Jennifer is B. Okay, is Luis traveling in Europe? Yeah. Uh, Number six. Oh, excuse me. Uh -huh. Angela reading a book. Mm -hmm. No, she isn't. And then Angela see the pointer. Mm -hmm. What is she doing? What is she doing? Veronica, what's she doing? She, um, she is. Um, uh, what's she doing? What's she doing? She's watching TV. Uh -huh, she's watching a TV series. Mm -hmm. She's watching a TV series. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Miladis and Cindy, right? Miladis is A, Cindy is B. Okay. A, letter A. Yes, letter A. Okay, is Mercedes working in the garden? Marcos? Uh, well, it's okay. You can say Mercedes. 
Oh. No, she isn't. What's she doing? She is a cooking lunch. Uh -huh. She's cooking lunch. Lunch. She's cooking lunch. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, the next ones, Julissa and Julissa needs a partner. Okay. Who is another volunteer? Carlos Daniel. Excellent. Okay. So, Carlos Daniel, so say number seven, Marcos. Okay. It's Marco. It's Marco. Marco bathing a landscape. No, he isn't. What's he doing? He is relaxing in his room. He's relaxing in his room. Yeah, excellent. Very good. Now, yes, number nine. Number nine is for Gladys Saide. And uh, Gladys, I then needs another partner. Who wants to be a partner? teach. Okay. Well, I only have. Is Tony? Okay. Let me see. I'm going to ask Araceli. Okay, teacher. Alarcón with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay, very good. So, begin. begin. Is Tony taking a class? No, he isn't. He, what's he doing? He is playing video games. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. I need two other volunteers for number 10. I have Veronica. I don't know if she didn't put down her hand or if she is a new volunteer. Veronica, I okay. have you. Yes. Me, okay. teacher. Okay, teacher. Veronica and Jamie for number 10. Veronica begins. Okay. Is traveling abroad? Uh, who? Celeste. 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 Is Celeste traveling abroad? Okay. Um, I repeat, teacher. Please, please go ahead. <laughs> okay. Is Celeste traveling abroad? No, she isn't. Um, what's she doing? She's uh, visiting relatives in town. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, Jamie. And Gladys, I did. Jamie and Gladys, I did. Jamie asks. Glad it's like that. Answer. For number 11. Jorge, studying at the school? No, he isn't. What he doing? I stay, I stay at home. He's studying, he's he, studying at home. He's studying. He's studying at home. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, very good. Now, let me see. Number 12. Volunteer for 12. Me, teacher. And uh, ladies needs another partner. <laughs> okay. And ladies and Karen. Okay. For number 12. Number 12. Okay, it's Maritza starting French. No, she isn't. What's she doing? Yes. Yes. She is studying English. 
Excellent. She's studying English. Very good. Nice. Number, yeah, for number 15, we have uh, Don Roberto Betancourt and Glorita. Glorita and Don Roberto Betancourt. Okay. Okay, teacher. Number 13. That's right? Yes, number 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Thomas jogging in the park? No, he isn't. What he doing? He's ta he's talking with Frank outside. Okay, excellent, very good. And for the last one, Julissa and Olgit. Okay. Okay, Julissa. Begins. Okay. okay, is Carla play basketball with friends? No, she isn't. What's she doing? She is taking a nap in her room. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. This is only a, a, com a short or a mini conversation using the present continuous, right? So let's continue. Exercise two, conversation. I come from a big family. Okay, now, before the, I come from a big family, these are some facts about families. Okay, in the United States, 41% of homes have three or more televisions, 41%. Okay, in the United States, 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. Also in the United States, 55% of mothers with young children work. Also, 78% of high school students have jobs. And 74% of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 marry. Dun, 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 right? And 27% of adults between the ages of 18 and 34 live with their parents, okay? Only 27% in the United States. Now let's see about our country, about El Salvador. What do you think? Okay. Uh, of homes have three or more televisions. What do you think is the percentage? In the United States is 41%. In our country, Maybe 20, 20, Okay. 20%. 20%. Okay. What about uh, the families that almost always eat dinner together in our country? What's the percentage, do you think? 75%. Please. 40%. 75%. Okay. To tell you what I read. In, in, it said 68%, oh, 68%. 68%, so that is a little more than in the United States. Mm -hmm. What about the percentage of mothers with young children that work in our country? 18%. 30%. are almost correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, an 80% means most of the mothers with young children have to work. Mm -hmm. Now, the percentage of high school students that have jobs in our country? 50%. 50%. 50%. Yes, yes. The study Maybe. said that 17%. Okay. The study said that 17% of the, of the people had a job, but that about 40% worked. Mm. Yeah, it's a different thing to work and to have a job. Means when someone has a job, he is responsible and he receives money for it. But in the case of others, they help the mom, they help the father, they help the uncle, the aunt, and they don't get money. They work but they don't get money, no salary, okay? Mm -hmm. 
That is the difference. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. And they said that it was like about 40%. Okay, mm -hmm. what about, what's the percentage of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 that marry? 75%. <laughs> Eighty percent. Let's say, yeah. 80. Yes. 80. What about the next? The percentage of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty-four that live with their parents. You would be surprised. Thirty percent. Seventy. Fifty. <laughs> 80, 80%. 81%. 80, okay. 80%. Ah. Mm -hmm. So what's it? Ah. Ah, okay. The thing is this. They get married, but they don't say uh, the person that gets married has to have a new house, right? And they leave the mm -hmm. house. And they find okay. the house and they live together. No. They stay with the parents and they are married. Yeah they continue mm -hmm. together in the same house. So that is, uh, I mean, this is a study, but the study said 81%. Probably the number is inflated, maybe. but that's what it says, that 81% of the adults don't go, they stay at home with the parents, okay? especially the first years of their lives, okay? Well. I think it's good sometimes because the old people are not alone. In the United States, a lot of parents are sent to homes for the elderly. So, and they are abandoned. Probably they see the parents only once a month, abandoned in places like Asilo Sara, right? Asilo Sara and other places like that. So it's better if you live with them. Okay, very good. Now let's have the dialogue. Okay, the dialogue says, okay, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, so do you like being an only child, Meili? Of course, I get all my, my parents' attention. Yeah, I share my parents' attention with five other people. But sometimes I want a brother or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have lots of friends like you. <laughs> okay, so this is the conversation. I, I need two volunteers, one to be Marcos and the other to be Meili. Okay. So I have Miledis and Jamilet Castro. They are the first. And in the second round, Don Roberto and Jennifer. Okay, let's begin. First, Miledis and Jamilet. Who is, Mar who is Marcos and who is Meli? Miledis is uh, Marcos and Meli. Is Jamile. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Hello, Meili. Sorry. <laughs> um, actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. 
Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are a smiler these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday present. Continue, Marcus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so do you like being an oily child? Of course. I get all my parents' attentions. Yeah. I share my parent attention, attention with five other people. But sometimes I want a brother or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? I don't lonely. know with the pronunciation. Lonely? Lonely? Mm -hmm. Sure, but it's okay. I have lots of, of friends. Excellent, very good. That's nice. Okay. This microphone is a little. Okay. Can you hear better now? Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. We can hear you. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, the other one we have. Don Roberto Betancourt and uh, Jennifer, right? For the second. Okay. okay. I'm going to be Marcos. Yep. That's right, teacher. <laughs> you want. I'm going to be mainly. Uh, you are Marcos, okay. 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 I'm being. How many brother and sister do you have, mainly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most family in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller each day but big family are great because you get a lot of birthday present so do you like being an only child of course i get all my parents attentions yes i share my parents attention with five other people but at some time i want a brother or a sister do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have a lot uh, of friends. Excellent, very good. Now the next one, we have uh, Veronica Alfaro and uh, Karen. Okay. How many brothers? Hello, teacher. I, I don't listen. I guess the microphone was interrupted because I, I don't hear anything either. Ah, Michael. Repeat, teacher. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Per favore. Okay. How many brother and sister do you have? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most family in the China have only one child. Uh, nowadays. 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 Hmm. I didn't know that. What about you? 
What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot more of family are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Mm -hmm. Continue, Marcos. Okay. Only child. So, do you live only child? Yeah. Only child. Oh, of course. Of course, I I get all my parents' attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I share my parents' attention with five other people. But sometimes I want I want a brother or sister. Do you ever? Lonely, lonely, lonely. Sure, but it's okay. I have a lot of friends. Okay, excellent. Good. Now the last one would be Elsa Natalia and Gloria Elizabeth Castellanos, right? That would be Elsa is Marcos and Meili is. Okay, good. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am only shy. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? Mm, I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. Matter are smaller the state, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Mm -hmm. And so do you like being an only child? Mm -hmm. Of course. I get all my parents' attention. Yeah, I share my parents' attention with five other people. But sometimes I want a brother or a, or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have a lot of friends. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, that was, uh, the, they were the last ones. Now, how many brothers and sisters does Marco have? Mm. Three, brothers, Three brothers, sister, and sister. Sister. Three brothers, two sisters. Three brothers and two sisters. Now, how many brothers and sisters does May Lee have? She doesn't have She's brothers done. or sisters. Only, only, only child. One child. Uh, only child. Only child. Right? So we can say none. Mm. No. Okay. None. How many children, how many brothers and sisters does she have? None. She's no. a child. She has no brothers and no sisters. She has none. Okay. Now, how many? Uh, uh, sisters sorry, you... teacher. A, a child in, in this in a child. Oh, you don't. Say, uh -huh. When you say none, you don't. Uh -huh. say children, only none. Okay. Because uh -huh. none is a pronoun that substitutes for the children. So how many oh, okay. sisters do you have? None. Okay. None. That's a complete answer. Uh -huh. None. Okay. okay. Now, let's see. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Karen, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Actually, I have one sister, but my brother is, is dying after 50 years ago. F oh, it was a baby. Your brother was a baby when he died. 
No, uh, my brother when die have has a when I was twenty five years old. Twenty five years old. She she he's died. He died. Oh, so you mean fifteen years ago? One five. Oh yeah, yeah. Fifteen or fifty. Uh, First one, right? Uh, Second, so 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, uh -huh. excellent. Sorry, sorry about that, my friend. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's terrible to lose a relative. My mom is dead and my father is dead. So I know that it's very hard. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. How about uh, Jamilet? How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother and two sisters. Okay, you are four. That's wonderful. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one brother and one sister. One brother and one sister. Ah, you are three, that's nice. How about Gladys Aide? How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three brothers. Three brothers, okay, that's nice, very good. Uh, Karen, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I, I have one sister and I don't have brother. If the thing is I confuse you with Veronica, okay? <laughs> yes, sorry, sorry, Karen. Okay, how about Miledis? Mm -hmm. Imaj, this teacher is distracted, right? So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I have one brother and six sisters. I come from big family. Come from a big family. No, a, yes. a huge family. Hey, that's <laughs> wonderful. That's nice. Okay. How about? Thank you. Yeah, that's nice. Marlon, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I saw Marlon. <laughs> okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Marlon? Okay. Orlando, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, hi, good, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have uh, one brother and two sisters. One brother and two sisters. Okay. That's very nice. That's nice. You are four. Okay. That's good. Thanks for sharing. Now, Don Roberto, how many brothers and sisters do you have? You say oh, you have teacher. a child, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm an only child. <laughs> I don't have brother or sister. Yeah, you said that yesterday. Uh -huh. Yeah. You remember that I asked you. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have no brothers and no sisters. Okay. But you have the love of your children, and that is important. Okay. That's very good. Yeah, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, my dear Nitos, let's continue. Exercise three, reading. Families are changing. Families are changing. Okay. We say that families used to be bigger. Now they are smaller. They're smaller. So how are they changing? Okay, this is the reading. It says, Many years ago, families were large. Parents had 10 or 12 children. Later, uh, they decided to reduce the numbers. So they had uh, just five or six children. Nowadays, families have between one and three children. This has become very common. 
But why is this so common now? One of the reasons is the cost of living. Housing is very expensive, and so is education. Another reason is that jobs are becoming difficult to get, and they pay little. This makes it necessary for women to work outside their homes because women need to find jobs. They have to go to college or university. For this reason, women marry when they are older, like 27 or 30 years old. This keeps the number of babies small. Finally, everything is designed for smaller families, two bedroom apartments, and smaller rations of foods. It's possible that some people think that economy doesn't have anything to do with the number of children. But the truth is that the number of children is decisive in the economy of most homes. Okay, this is the reading. We're going to have, a, don't worry, you don't have to read it all. I'm going to chunk it up. Okay, I'm going to break it into pieces. Okay. So we see, okay, where well, we have one here and the other one is going to be here. Okay. So what am I saying? That you're going to finish at college or university. Then the other, okay. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to write the numbers and I'm going to write a division. Uh oh, I don't want to close it. Okay, it says, do you want to close it? No, thanks, no closing. Okay, so division here. Okay, and the other division ooh, here, but I don't want to cover the other one. Okay, so now my dear ones, volunteers to read. I'm going to have only six volunteers, Miledis and Jamile. Okay, so Miledis and Olguita. So they read Miledis, Jamile, Olguita. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Many years ago, families were large. Parents had 10 or 12 children. Later, they decided to reduce the number. So they had just five or six children. Nor, nor they families have between one and three children. This has become very common, but why is this so common now? One of the reasons in the cost of living, housing is very expensive and so is education. Another reason is that jobs are becoming difficult to get and they play, pay little. This makes it necessary for women to... Necessary? Mm -hmm. Necessary for women to work outside their home because women need to find jobs, they have to go to college or university. Excellent, thank you very much. For this reason, women mar marry when they are older, 27 or 30 years old. Yeah. This keeps the number of babies small. Finally, everything is designed for a smaller family two bedroom, apartment, and a smaller reg region of food. Mm -hmm. It's possible that some people think that economy doesn't have anything to do with the number of children. But the truth is that the number of child children is decide, uh, decide in the economy of most homes. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now we have uh, Jennifer is going to read the, the first one, Jennifer Noemi, right? She's going to read the introduction, then the second, Elsa, and the last one, Don Roberto Betancourt. 
Okay. Um, okay. Many years ago, families were large. Mm -hmm. Parents have 10 or 12 children. Later, they decide to reduce the number so they have just five or six children. Nowadays, families have between one and three children. This was become very common, but why this so common now? Okay, thank you. One of the reasons in the cost of living, housing is very expensive and so is education. Another reason is that jobs are becoming difficult to get and they pay a little. This make it, this make, makes it necessary for women to work outside their homes because women need to find jobs. They have to go to college or university. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you much. Now, Don Roberto. For this reason, women marry when they are older, 27 or 30 years old. This keeps the number of babies small. Finally, everything is designed to smaller families, to bedrooms, apartment, a small ration of food. It's possible that some people think that the economy doesn't have anything to do with the number of children. But the truth is that the number of children is this size this in the economy. Decisive? Decisive in the economy of most homes. Excellent, wonderful. That's very good. That's great. Okay, I'm going to steal a few minutes from the other class to continue. So we're going to finish this one. We have a quantifiers to describe a number in amount. All, nearly all, most, all is 100%, right? No one is 0%. So all, nearly all, and most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, and few, and no one, okay? So all families have one child. Nearly all families have one child. Most families have one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families, lot of are, families are smaller these days. Some families Some are families smaller are small. these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. And finally, no one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, so these are quantifiers, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few and few, okay? Um, because we don't have much time, we're going to stop here and uh, we're going to continue with this on Monday. But uh, on Monday, we have the final exam. And they asked me to tell you that on the last on the last day you have to enter with an 80 percent of all the platform congratulations to all of the ones who have finished some of you communicated teacher we have already finished and that's wonderful okay it's very very nice okay so my dear nitos uh, i'm going to stop here because my time finished with you but on Monday, we will continue. Uh, Milena, yes. had a question? No, no question. No, teacher. 
Okay. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Happy Thank weekend. So much, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Nice. See you on Monday, good teacher. Rest. Thank, Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Take care. See you on Monday. Bye.